welcome back now in this lecture we are going to add a profile picture for the user that is the profile avatar and that means we need the column on the user's table that will hold that avatar so there are two ways we can do it that is we can roll back the migration and then add the column to the user's table and then migrate that back to the database or we can just create a new migration file and then add that column because once we roll back then it means we have to delete everything from that table so let's use the second option that is to add a new column to that user's table so i'm going to run php on the terminal artisan make migration and then add avatar column on users and then specify the table which is users table created migration let's check from the database directory and then migrations we have this file now here we're going to add that column table and this column type will be a string the name of the column avatar and then i'll modify or use the column modifier and put it after i'm going to put it after email and then we'll have a default and that is the default image i'm going to call it default dot jpg or basically png save you can also add it on this drop method in case we just want to drop it so this one will use the drop column that is the drop column method and save now let's migrate this file so before we migrate let's copy this default image which can be found on there so i'm going to use this one and copy and let's take it to the project laravel public and i'm going to put it on this directory rename it i'm going to call it default so this is a png file so we can now save everything and let's migrate that file so php artisan migrate so migrated so let's make sure from the php my admin and see it is there so i'm going to refresh and as you can see now we have that avatar column and with the default image which is default.png now we are done with part one in the next lecture will create now the view that will have the upload form see you in the next lecture